Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again in your currency. So uh, yesterday was really volatile action around the same area, but <clears throat> without some real results. So market, despite that was really big volatility around, uh, it wasn't able to move in any direction. So mostly it stands in the same area. That's why on a daily chart, we mostly have the same picture as yesterday. Uh, some kind of the indecision action stands because we we have two doji side by side around the same resistance. Uh, so that's the first point that we could uh, take into consideration. So for, this is not neither good nor bad because it could be different conclusion could be made first. Uh, it could be treated as the strength because market stands flat. It doesn't continue downward action. It shows very small retracement and this is a bullish sign. At the same time, it, it can't proceed higher, it can't exceed the previous tabs and can't uh, show another leg up. And this is, it means that your currency stands right, right now under pressure and uh, the new sellers are stepping in when the market makes an attempt to move slightly higher than these areas. So uh, on the four hour time frame chart, our yesterday scenario mostly stands intact because our uh, engulfing patient that has been formed here is valid. Market has not exceeded this top. And uh, yesterday we've got, based on this volatility, another bearish engulfing patient. That's the first point. Second point, guys, is that take a look that uh, actually actually th this the second uh, candle of this patron is a bearish grabber and his grabber suggests the taking out of this loss so it means that we potentially could get still some continuation uh, that is what we could see on the four hour time frame chart it is interesting that despite this big volatility yesterday the targets that we have specified on the minor ABCD currently coincides with the new downside targets take a look on the hourly chart so if you remember yesterday we talked about this minor A, B, C top. This was OP around confluence support and XOP around major 618. Currently we have the greater swings, but as A, B lag has become greater, as C, D lag also has become higher. And that's why where RP stand on the first A, B, C, D patient, now it stands on the same area. So the, the, the areas of the OP targets and XOP remains the same. Let's try to find out what we got yesterday, what the price action was. So actually, uh, of course, it's uh, it, it's more simple to identify by the hindsight by, but uh, than in reality. But th that that's, uh, was, as you could see, just the guarded equal to sell action. So actually, market here has, has, has shown A, B equals C, D action. C, D point stands below A, this patient is valid. And now it has completed minimum target by the drop more than the 30% almost uh, right at the bottom of the B point. Currently, uh, the only pattern that I see that could be formed is a bearish sign. Be bearish pattern is again guard is cheaper to sell because we have another uh, bearish engulfing on the 4 hour time frame chart. And the, if you are searching chance to go short, it's, it would be better current circumstances to use clear bearish continuation patterns. In this case, you will get at least some protection by the just minor at least minor response on the patron on the, on the resistance and that lets you to move stops to the break even because as I said yes we have some bearish uh, patterns so we have engulfing we have a uh, stop grabber we have in general this really very nervous action around the 1360 resistance uh, we have some uh, here also patrons with scarless cheaper to sales but at the same time, guys, we, we, had, we have flat standing just at the first FIP support. 
so it means that the purchase power right below this area is also sufficient to keep market in the tight range right now that's why it, bad, it would be better if you still would like to take the short position it would be better to follow clear bearish pattern so that's our view currently on your card so, so we uh, do not deny the possibility of the drop here this market really could drop to the OP this confidence support as, uh, but uh, some risks exist just because market stands at the first fifth support and it entails that some power some uh, strength exists in the market and that's why we call to follow clear bearish pattern just to get the minimum insurance that you will be able at least to move stops to the break even so that's what we see on the year and then let's take a look what here will happen 